just to bother the other person. Wouldn't work on me. I play with headphones, but you know. If you hear 25M, it's like imagine you're getting rolled and you hear 25M, you're like, this is this is my Black Mirror episode. Like this, <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I actually know quite a bit about this matchup. Please give me some. And tea. it's annoying. For, this is, this uh, is one of those even matchups where no one has fun. Okay. Where where both players are gonna swear and swear and swear about it because Yoshi does this. Yes. Bowser's at a hundred and now the game starts. Right right, exactly. Like forward air can control so much space that Yoshi needs, it's gonna win a lot of trades. Side B is a big problem. Yoshi's like, oh my shield can't get poked. He's like, I have one of the best man grabs in the game. I don't care. Yeah, there's that forward air trade I'm talking about. Like bear one against Bowser Fair is yeah. not a good uh, exchange for Yoshi. Ba Bowser's disjoints are fantastic versus Yoshi in, in many stages of the game, particularly this one. And you really don't want to fall victim to any of those like ledge trap shenanigans that Bowser can do. And it looks like Ehis will find the sneaky way around it going over that platform. Turn around the S-Man for stock. Now, how well does the double jump armor work against Bowser Breath? Because that's like one of his key edge guarding tools. Oh, it, you go straight through yeah? Fire Breath. Okay. It's for, forever. That's good. It does like no real knockback. Ooh. But things like, you know, sweet spot forward tilt that the ledge will ruin you. Yeah, yeah. That move is mad underrated. There are many other tricks that you can do. You just nice. have to you have to commit to harder things than fire breath. Like you can't just like kill a fox. You know, a fox just dies to fire breath sometimes. You can't do that for Yoshi. But you have a lot of other ways you can ruin his day. I like that both these players are going for really aggressive edge guard options. They are they are fully committing. No one's trying to reset a ledge trap. They're like, I'm going to kill you with forward air. I told, I'm going to I told you, Yoshi's button check is hold forward and press A. You were, you were not wrong. You were not wrong. And it, it, the button check Ooh. worked out here for E is, okay, you're going to take some some damage, like 20-something percent. Yeah, point blank fire breath, that's tough. But that's like half a Yoshi combo. It really is, honestly. Or like a Yoshi down air, honestly. All right, important tech right there. Not going to get jab locked, but still going to get set up with all these up tilts and up airs. A lot of damage on Dakes. Not a lot on e -his. Uh, side B, not going to touch the platform. I think he's pretty heavy. He wasn't really in too much danger either way. Forward tilt, I like the attempt. Great recovery angle from Ehis to make sure that's avoided. Mm -hmm. That could have been a really early stock if he, if he had like, beaten the armor on that. And uses X super early to just kind of present a little bit of a threat. They weren't necessarily like threatening. How did he what? He I have what? never seen that before. Did he like I auto he, cancel the up B? I think Wait. he was crouched and then just uncrouched and jabbed. Okay. It looked very silly though, and it like low profiled Bowser's rising aerial. Yeah. I'm okay, you're very dead. Okay. This Bowser is where it's very scary. Strong. Because you are two neutral interactions away from losing this game if you are E his. Yeah, and outside of forward air specifically, the uh, air to air trades are going to be in Bowser's favor. Uh, outside of like fair, maybe neutral air. Could not get that neutral air out of shield. I know that's what he needed here. 169% on uh, Dake's butt. Honestly, one or two hits away from Bowser just taking this anyway. 186, what are we going to see here? Okay, he his. Nice. Okay, there you go. Nice. Give him the big boot, but it's not enough reversal. Oh. The was reverse it? hit, and Bowser's very heavy. Ooh! Dakes had to go for it. He had to go for it all in that back air. Didn't find it. He's going to get hit with that downbeat in the crowd. It's starting to make some noise back there. But honestly, I, Dakes, I support the vision. You, that's what you had to do. You, know? you have to steal the game. You have to. This is why both players do not like this matchup. You have to play real Mario Party in this matchup. Like, you have to yeah. steal. Like. If, if Bowser is going to win it, you have to kill Yoshi at like 80. Mm -hmm. and with, with silliness, going off the stage with Fair. Uh, a lot of those uh, nair to backer combos still work on Yoshi, so that, oh, that's that? another good opportunity. Yeah, because it, big. at the range where they KO, you can't really double jump through the nair. Oh. Uh, that's, a lot. That's, that's like 40 something percent. That's like a lot. There's one other thing I wanted to point out. Uh, Ihiz went for. Cross up bear, mm -hmm. which is not safe versus Bowser. Bowser has to be on point with the Whirling Fortress punish out of shield for that. You can just stop that cross up right in his tracks. Uh, I want to see that from Dakes, a little bit more awareness of like what Yoshi can and can't get away with on your shield. So like if he Bowser has the ability to take that away. So if he bears his shield, are you saying he can like jump away before the Whirling Fortress or or is it unsafe? No, it's unsafe. Yoshi oh, okay. Yoshi gets punished by Whirling Fortress. Okay, yeah. Because that a lot of Yoshi's pressure is like. Those air to ground, like dares, those bears, really all of his aerials at this point. I don't know if he does landing up air, but I wouldn't be surprised. But Whirling Fortress is just such a huge factor. Uh, I don't and think and he if his he, e can get away with some more of that, like shield pressure, that's just a whole other vector in the matchup that Dakes can't afford to give him because of the damage output we see from Yoshi. Now, one thing you can always do against Bowser, like universally, they kind of always want to shield. They want to go for that Whirling Fortress. They want to make sure. You well, a, they want that option, and B, they want that. You want to get your pressure off, but you can get a lot of free grabs on Bowser because of yeah. that. Yeah. We, we didn't see a single grab from Ehis. Not one. 
But he didn't need it because he can play around the shield other ways that Dex isn't taken away yet. Mm -hmm. And it looks like, I want to say he has maybe switched his controller out. Maybe there's some kind of issue. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but we'll be getting into this. Oh, yeah. Probably a new controller swap here. Not sure what's going on. What happens when we hit an hour played production on the parental controls? Oh, no. They're on? <laughs> oh, no. That's what that is? That's what that is. Um, I'm like 80% sure that uh, Jacob, the person who owns the Switch, uh, just does that to track playtime for his games because it's a little bit more accurate than on your regular profile. Oh, okay. I'm so like, I was like, I'm uh, like very, very sure that's the reason he doesn't actually have a timer on his printer controls. I really hope we don't see the... Okay, so we're not going to see the funny thing. It's not going to happen? No, the funny thing would be very funny. Okay. That's not going to happen. Yeah. Oh, Ehis is having pro controller delay. That's what it's happening. So concerns with inputs. That's the one thing I've heard about uh, pro controllers that like majors specifically, that's where it gets really dicey. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many different Bluetooth devices happening. All Wireless at once. interference is really tricky to troubleshoot. Mm -hmm. Oh, so hello. Hey guys, Silas on the mic. I uh, just wanted to point out. Uh, so what's what's going on right now is uh, one of the players, uh, I believe, Ahis or whatever, uh, the Yoshi, uh, has uh, is noticing uh, connection. Uh, lag, but because we're at a major, that's just going to happen if you're white. They both play on Pro Controller. Yeah. I told yeah. both of them to connect uh, their con the, to via the cable. Okay. Just, okay. As you guys were saying, I'm does, that, does, the, does that solve the, the problem? The wired it cable okay. solves the interference, but it actually has more of an input delay than wireless in this game. But it's more, How? But, but it's more reliable. <laughs> it, is, it is more reliable. That's unexpected. Yeah, it's exactly one frame more. Huh. Okay. Very weird that, but that's that's Nintendo's uh, Bluetooth yeah. technology for you. Sure, it sure is. As an elder Smash player, back in my uh, day, well, we just had the GameCube controller. You know, that's, e that's even uh, with the interference, it worked out pretty. His there, so. I will say I'm jealous for pro controller players because they do not have to go through a tenth of the hurdles I have to go through getting a new controller. Like you can oh, just yeah. find a pro controller, a GameCube controller. You got to complete a shrine. You got to like. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. <laughs> You're not spending less than 200 bucks half the time. It's, it's tough. You have to leave Dinral's scale at the Shrine of Wisdom. <laughs> exactly. You have to sell your soul. It's, it's tough. And even then, the Shrine doesn't give you one with Snapback. And you're just like, ah. Oh, my God. <laughs> not having Snapback. <laughs> so humbling. Yoshi. Trying to do an arrow and just spinning around. I'm like, oh, my God. This feels awful. But let's get into this game, too. Um, obviously, that was a very close game. And no one's icing. You know, some people. Yeah. Say that that big delay can kind of like mess you up in the second game, your momentum. But this was a genuine issue, you know. Like both players just want to be able to play at their best and you know do what they came here to do. I think they're kind of sort of feeling it out, but it looks like they're. I'm not sure if this is a button check. I or not. think might be. I button. think they're feeling it out. They're feeling it out. Unless they are destroying these ghosts, I'm not sure. I don't know if there's a target test <laughs> happening, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's a button check. So I didn't get to ask you. What are you most excited for about Combo Breaks? Because there's so much to do here. Uh, Skullgirls Top 8 is Ooh. pretty much always the correct answer. Okay, it's, okay. It's a treat every year. Okay. And this year, it's gonna be, I, I'm not even going to be able to miss it because it's before our Ultimate Top 8. So you can watch one and then immediately go and watch the other. So. I didn't know you were a Skullgirls fan, actually. I played a lot of it uh, like at launch launch. Me too. And yeah. I voted for Skullgirls over Melee in the original Evo poll because I was an FGC guy then. Oh, we have the same roots. Oh my god. Yeah. So I started in um, I started in Brawl, then I switched to like Marvel and Blaze Blue, then I came back for Smash 4, then I quit Smash 4 for DBZ, which was a perfectly valid and reasonable decision. Right. And then I dropped DBZ back for Smash, <laughs> and now uh, I've been playing a ton of Strive. Not as much lately, just because the servers are kind of wonky, but like. Uh, I put a good couple hundred hours in the strive on Mazato main, so there's so much homework you have to do to be able to compete. Mazato is a lot of work. It's a lot, and now I'm excited for Asuka, who is also a ton of work. So, <laughs> guess who I would play if I played Strive? I don't. I don't play. You play Ramblethal? No. Who would you play? Tatsugeki. Okay, you play Main. All right. <laughs> I, the the really annoying character with the dolphin. Yes. Yes. That's that's who I would play. I my my college friends play. Shout to my college buddies who are probably watching. Uh, they play a lot of Strive, so I watch Do them they? play. Do they? Nice. They play quite a bit on our server. Like, I knew Asuka was dropping this week. I'm like, I'm so busy this week. I need, like, two full days to practice and also make myself not play Zelda. But getting in a game, too. So we are on Hollow Bastion. Uh, 
I like Dakes taking the center position and just kind of going up me under the stage, under the platform. It's actually really tough to get through that. Um, him just having Whirling Fortress and a uh, Flame Breath under there. Not a ton of options, but looks like he was able to find his way. Wow. <laughs> wow. These that, are two characters. That is the first time I've seen Yoshi Bomb just not lose to something. Because yeah. that, that move loses all the time. But it didn't hit straight on to the up smash. That was very fortunate here for his for his life. Yeah, yeah, because that Bowser up smash has a ton of invulnerability. I think I'm pretty sure the whole shell is invincible. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Please correct me. But it, it, it's it's tough to test that move. All right, now we got some some wave bouncing and B reversing on okay. the Adelaide. I like the the sneaky movement in order to sneak some extra damage on. Got some sauce in here. All right. Oh, that new speed. Oh my god. That was like max spacing on both that forward air and like. The disjoint that comes, or the uh, the hurt box that comes out with that up tilt, because uh, Ehs was mad far away, but he was able to find the first stock. None of these throws are necessarily going to kill. Dakes has been going for a lot of aggressive forward airs, and he finds it right there and takes the stock. Yeah, anything that Ehs did there was just going to lose to that forward air. So yeah. That, that's the kind of air to air interaction that Dakes really needs to hit in order to close out some of these stocks, especially if you're not finding any like the confirmed, right? Time does not move slower than getting caught by point blank Bowser Breath. You're like, oh, <laughs> oh, turn the oven off. I hate it. I thought you were going to say Yoshi Dare. There's two cutscene combos in this matchup. Well, yeah, you know what? That, that one also is triggering. I don't lie. <laughs> okay, real respect for that down air. Yeah. That, that's the next evolution, right? Because yep. Dakes they, landed quite a few of those, I think, in game one as well. Mm -hmm. So just retreat and just. Not allow any of those to hit you as a reversal, and you get a free punish. Yeah, and good stuff by Ease too, because Yoshi has a has an insane amount of area momentum, so it's very easy to just kind of bait out a move that's uh, linear like that. There's the, that's what I'm talking about. We need those neutral bees, need those throws, because Dakes can't get comfortable with that whirling fortress out of shield. All right, great double jump to avoid the egg, but still getting punished for these dares. Dakes really struggling to find a way down to the ground. Already at 111 percent, one or two confirms away. Dash tag not going to net too much just yet. I like the aggressive forward smash. I, I respect it. Down smash might have been what you wanted there, though, to try and like catch under the ledge. Yeah. But this should not quite be enough, I guess. Hello, Bastion, baby. Nice. Just enough room. And Yoshi uh, ate his Wheaties this morning. Yeah. I yeah, think he was probably like 2% away from dying. He was able to make it. Mm. Neutral air. Oh, wow, the armor going to just let him just drive through the uh, up B. That's huge. Oh, oh we got no. Oh, no. <laughs> he has taken a moment to wave to mom. Just being like, ah, we did it. I feel that, yeah. He's smiling. It's one of those, you can't even be mad about it, you know. You had, they, both these characters get away with that all the time, you know. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. You, you live by the shield break, you die by the shield break. And apparently, he is the one who lives by it today and moves on further. Yeah. Getting closer and closer to that Chipotle dub. That That's everyone true. Desires. I forgot. If you guys don't know, if you make it out of pools, you actually get a free Chipotle entree. So honestly, if you're really good, you make it to like you know, round four pools or whatever, or however far in bracket. That's a lot of 